Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about the messages ser uh, service that's in Mountain Lion Server. Now, in Lion Server, messages was called iChat because that's how Apple had set up their service before. But now that they've expanded their iChat service to include things like text messages and other forms of communication, they've decided to change the name to messages. Now, the difference between uh, the iChat server and the messages server in terms of the upgrade uh, isn't large. I mean, a lot of the stuff is almost the same. Uh, there's uh, one little tweak or, or so that, uh, that I'll show you, but otherwise it operates pretty much the same as it did under Lion Server. But for those of you that haven't uh, looked at that yet, let me just kind of walk you through the different uh, services and configuration of it, and we'll go from there. So this is the messages interface right here. You can see that uh, the service is off right now. I don't have a green dot on the side over here. And you'll notice that I've got uh, two things that I can set up, two settings for messages. Uh, the first is to enable server-to-server -server federation, and the other is to archive all iChat messages. So let's start with this server-to-server -server federation piece. Uh, what this basically means is it, it allows you to set up the ability for your server to communicate with other servers that have uh, different chat protocols. Uh, you, the chat protocol that you're using here on Mountain Lion Server is Jabber, but uh, there it will also work with things like Google Talk and stuff like that. So it allows you to chat uh, with other servers. It also allows you to chat with other servers both within your network and outside. And so if you've got more than one server inside your network, you'll need to make sure this is enabled to be able to talk across that. Since most home users won't, that really won't be a problem for you. But if you want your um, iChat or your messages um, uh, pe people who are using your messages service to be able to communicate with other users of messaging services outside your network, you're going to need to make sure that this is enabled. So let's look at the different settings you can change with it. So on this little setup window here, I've got a few things that I can change. Uh, the first is to require ser uh, secure server-to-server -server federation. Now what this basically means is that you're requiring there to be a secure connection between the chat clients so that it's not just sort of an open system. Uh, you want to use SSL to sort of uh, encrypt the line of communication that goes back and forth. So if you'd like that to happen, you just want to click that box right there. Now in doing that, you also want to make sure that your SSL is set up so that you have a uh, you know, secure connection for your computer. So let me just let me cancel this for a second just because I want to show you that. If you come up to server up here, you want to go to the settings page and right here in the SSL certificate you want to make sure that it has your certificate there. Uh, if it doesn't for some reason or if it just says custom, you would come here and click edit and then on this page you would have a list of the different services that were available and you'd want to make sure that your particular certificate was set up for that service uh, that you wanted to have happen. All right, So you want to make that work that way. So I'm just going to cancel this because I wanted to show you that that's where you make those changes. Now let's go back to messages and let's go back into this uh, enable server-to-server -server federation. So that's what it means for requiring a secure connection. Now underneath you have the ability to allow federation with all domains. In other words, any domain, any place that people want to want to connect with the messages server, they can do that um, with no restrictions. So that way it allows you to communicate with anybody out there. Uh, or you can restrict it to the following domains. And so if you have kids and you don't want them uh, to uh, to communicate with certain servers and things like that, you can come in here and restrict them. And, and really all you would need to do is just click add and then type in the server name. You know, server.example.com. You know, um, you know, any other servers you want in there. And once you've done that, it's set. And, and that's the restriction. If you ever take it off, if you watch, it just kind of grays it out and keeps it there. But that's how you, would, how you would set that up in such a way that you would have those communications and make them work. So this is just creates kind of the secure side of it and how you can communicate with servers. Like I said, if you have kids, uh, let me just cancel this. If you have kids, you may just want to even just take this off so that you don't have to worry about them communicating with anyone except those inside your server environment. All right, that's what that means. Now the next thing there is just to archive all your iChat messages so that as people are communicating you can uh, you know back and forth you can archive what that communication looks like so you can see what people are, what people have been saying again could come in handy if you wanted to just uh, take a look at the way uh, people are communicating back and forth um, but uh, for most people you probably don't need this service uh, to function at all it really doesn't make too too much of a difference uh, if you want to kind of see where those things are stored uh, this isn't exactly the way to to get at them but if you pull up a, a finder window just like this and if you go over to um, you go over to your server 
and you go to your server's uh, hard drive and you go into library let me just change the view here you go into library and then you go all the way down here to uh, server which is right here and then here's messages the messages folder and then you've got your data right in there you get some of your configuration options and things like that sitting right here so that just gives you an idea of where those things are stored you know just in case you want to know and you can see a lot of the other uh, uh, services and settings and stuff like that are put in here as well so that's where you would find those things so let me just pop down the window here so now that we understand all the different pieces all we've got to do is throw this switch and let the service get started uh, and so as always it'll write all the information down here you see the spinning wheel and you wait and we've got a green light coming on here now it's just writing the profile manager settings we're gonna wait for that and then uh, the service will be up and running and as always like I like to do with the services is just show you on profile manager what that looks like so if I click here you'll notice now the messages service has shown up here along with the other services that I've got configured and as I told you before when we get to profile manager I'll show you how this is the simplest way to set up those services and make those things work so let's go right back here to the messages service so that's how it is uh, set up on your server so now let's talk about how you set it up on a client and so I'm gonna start by showing you how to set it up on my server here itself okay here I am in the messages program you can see I don't have anything set up other than bonjour services and so this is the uh, window now if I want to add my new messages service in here so that I can use it in messages I just come up here to the menu item under messages and go to preferences and in this preferences window we want to go to accounts and you add a service now in this window here you want to change this from aim to jabber okay because that's the service you're setting up now it's important here in your account name what you're gonna do is put your short name whatever your short name was uh, for the client that you're using and then your servers full fully qualified donate domain name okay uh, I'm gonna put that in here and then you put in your password now there's other server options if you want to add things in there I just leave it at auto because it's a lot easier uh, to set it up that way and you click done and now it goes up and out and it sets up your server so you can see I've got my Jabber uh, information here I've got my server and here's my account information the accounts enabled you can see the description my password all those kinds of things uh, I can set chat settings uh, whatever it is that I want to set here uh, you know I can use my default name I can in chat room show the last 25 messages if I want you know there's all that kind of information and then server settings which again as you can see I want to show you it fills this information in for you automatically when you put your short name at your servers name and then it gets it all ready to go so we know that this service is set and ready to go so let me close this out for a second and as you can see now here in messages and you can see what's available uh, I can say if I'm available here or not those kind those kinds of things change my status and you'll notice that right in here it says jabber now in bonjour which means that my service is set up and ready to go and so I could g begin to start to chat with other people so that shows you how it's set up what I'm gonna do is set up uh, a couple of other ones here another one on my server so that you can get a feel for how it works now to be added to buddy lists and to be talking to other people on the server okay here I am over on a screen share now of my laptop I've got messages configured for my server uh, you'll see here's the messages window and like before you'll notice no no buddies and that information how do I know if my work group is connected or not uh, in order to do that you've got to open up your a buddies window if you come up here to the window um, area up here and you just click buddies or you can click command one as it says on your keyboard if you click that then this little buddies window pops up and this looks very similar to how iChat used to look before uh, which listed your buddies and your different accounts and things like that so you can see it shows that I'm available here it shows uh, buddies of, of myself this is just another the other account that I've got uh, logged in on the server that that's available there's my work group where I see myself in that list uh, and then uh, my bonjour address is sitting right here now you'll notice down below here uh, I've got several users that are on my server that just say waiting for authorization and that's just because they haven't actually uh, created their accounts yet on their laptops and so I left that alone just to show you that it does pick up that these other people are on my server and available and ready to go and it knows that uh, it knows that they could be authorized if they wanted to so these down here are not authorized this one here says waiting authorization because the information has been sent to be set up we're just waiting for that person to log in and authorize themselves on the server with their password uh, 
So you can see all the different people over here. Now, simply if I wanted to communicate with uh, individuals, I would just either put the uh, start typing their name in here, or I could literally just come on here and double click this. It brings it up on the side shows my information here, shows the server info, and then I can start typing. And if I didn't want to do that, I can just click Done, Delete, and I can delete conversations and they disappear. So it's just a little bit of a different way of doing the uh, buddy stuff from when we had iChat, but that's how messages works. And so now you can see how that works uh, on the local users as well. And so it's great because you have these buddy lists that you can automatically add people to, and it really makes it, uh, makes it convenient for you to be able to then just run your own uh, messages server without having to use things like iCloud if you didn't want to do that and wanted to do it on your server. Well, that's all I have for this week on setting up the messages service. Hopefully you see how uh, easy it is to set this up and to have your buddies set up and you can create these buddy lists for different work groups and things like that depending on the different groups that you set up on your server. So it makes it convenient. They'll show over here in the sidebar. Um, so anyway, so it really is kind of a, a simple service that you can set up if you wanted to do that. So anyways, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.